Since its inception in 1995, the Henry L. and Natalie E. Freund Teaching Fellowship has brought a broad array of artists to St. Louis. The Teaching Fellowship is a unique collaboration between the Sam Fox School of Design and Visual Arts at Washington University, specifically the Graduate School of Art, and the St. Louis Art Museum. Um, artist residents stay for two months during the fall, during which time they produce an exhibition, work for the exhibition, uh, the current exhibition at the St. Louis Art Museum, um, which opens typically in the spring of the uh, end of their fellowship year. And oftentimes artists will work with the graduate students to produce that exhibition. That was the case with our 2015-2016 um, fellow, Andrea Stanislav, who we had the good fortune to have in St. Louis for an entire year. The fellowship is so critical to teaching and learning in the Sam Fox School. Um, it's a unique opportunity for emerging artists to see the way that an artist uses field work and research in their own practice. And this is how emerging artists actually learn to model their own practice um, and their own level of critical engagement in their work. Andrea's work overall is a stunning mashup or collision of horror and beauty. And these are qualities that the artist says define sublimity. Um, the artist finds sublimity in this unique um, installation. Um, this is a uh, convergence piece called Convergence Infinité. It is a a stunning installation that includes uh, sculpture, video, um, and a lot of mirrored surfaces. Um, and the mirrored surfaces and the video qualities as well as the shadow play that the lighting imparts to the viewer create a kind of fractured embodied experience. Um, for the viewer. During her residency year, uh, the community is offered um, front row seats into the artist's working process. So we get a very close view of the artist's uh, perceptions on utopian, dystopian, pasts and futures, uh, transformation of histories, American exceptionalism, and also have a kind of affective experience of the artist's work. Uh, affect behavior um, occurs when the viewer uh, encounters themselves in the surfaces of the work, thereby feeling implicated into the content of the work itself. Um, there have been a lot of contemporary writers who are writing about affect behavior today, uh, Christina Albu being one of them. Um, Andrea really incorporates our shadows and our reflections into the work in a way that we feel uh, part of the histories and part of the convergence that she's trying to bring to light through the exhibition. Um, the exhibition pulls all of the local territories into one con convergence point. Um, she starts with the convergence of the Missouri and the Mississippi rivers in the north, um, Sugarloaf to the south, the Sugarloaf Mound, the uh, Des Perez uh, Presbyterian Church at the west, which is also a slave graveyard, um, and then to the east, the Cahokia Mounds. All of these points get drawn into one key central vortex, which would be the St. Louis Art Museum. And at that convergence point, the artist has produced a video of um, the St. Louis um, patron of the arts sculpture in front of the museum. The reflective head um, that she has produced in this um, animation both mirrors metaphorically and physically the sculptures in the installation, um, but it also reflects only the expanse of sky and nature, one that we ourselves cannot be implicated in. So this to me says that the artist is looking at the larger forces of nature that are in play in the ways that uh, our histories come to be. Much of Andrea's work comes from a fascination with the power relations that evolved over time and how those power relations have factored into uh, our, our very complex past and our possible futures. 
Um, though she doesn't protest these complex pasts, she certainly does stir up new ways and she teases out new ways of looking at where we came from and prompting ways of thinking about where to go next.